Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with Logclaw and Valerian Steel where we always deliver. Well Rockstar have posted a couple of updates this week and I just want to give you my reaction on their new starter guide which they've just posted which I think is amazing if you're a new player joining GTA Online and joining the community welcome and it's an amazing that a game that's several years old is now on the 6th of January 2021 still updating and posting a starter guide which shows how many new players are actually joining the community and starting their GTA journey for the very first time. And I know this from playing in the community for a while now. There are so many diverse types of people that play GTA and some of them are very experienced and have a, a huge you know, amount of money and, and have been doing it a long time. They know exactly what they're doing. And some people are very, very new to it and they don't, and I'm not, I'm not prejudiced against new players at all i understand that everybody starts somewhere and in fact on my channel i help my subscribers to rank up and to earn money and to find ways to do that quickly within the game by posting guides which you can find on my channel but also by literally helping them taking them around and helping them do a heist and giving them my cut of the money so that they can have a an injection of cash because i don't think that you should have to go and purchase uh, shark cards and things like that to, to get wealth in the game i want people to earn the money the way that i did and everything i've done in gta is completely legit so i'm really pleased that they have posted this this guide and i wanted to give you my reaction to, to some of the things they're saying and some of the points they're making and i'll tell you if i think it's going to help you give you my opinion on it so If you're looking for tips and starter stuff in GTA Online, I mean, there's such a wealth of information. When you first arrive in the city, you don't really know what to do, but every single player is the same. They want to learn to run very quickly into the game, and they often avoid learning how to walk first. And there are certain things you need to do in a certain order so that you can, for example, buy an apartment so you can start your heist journey or buy a business and you can start earning money through that business and there are lots of paywalls that you have to get through and the way that it really works from a new starter perspective is that you have to earn rockstar dollars gta dollars and that's what you use to pay so it's very much, it's like a fantasy version of real life you earn money and you buy things with it so whatever you're going to do in the game whether you're going to be a business person and own all the businesses and make money as a money grinder so supplying businesses and selling stock or whether you're going to just rob businesses like the casino or the, the new Kaya Perico heist and earn money that way or whether you're going to simply just go around killing people or collect cars clothes that kind of thing whatever you're going to do one thing you will have in common is that you need money so those GTA dollars are very important and you only get those when you start to work and complete jobs and when you're very new to the game and you don't own any businesses and you don't have any money to buy the businesses or you, you want to buy a submarine to start the guy very good heist but you can't earn enough money to buy the submarine which will then allow you to earn money it's difficult to know where to start so become familiar with your phone because this is how you're going to accept jobs and that's the best thing to do to earn money is just start dropping into other people's jobs whether it's a heist or the Cayo Perico heist um, or the casino heist and just play along with them and it will give you a chance to practice you earn a cut um, people are not friendly in the community GTA very often so I'm very keen on helping subscribers so I will literally on my channel help people to do these things so if you ever want to play a heist and you want someone to do it with you and you want to earn some money i will give my cut from the heist so that you can earn money and all you've got to do is reach out to me and um on xbox or on youtube or on tiktok or whatever and i will help you do that and i've got videos on my channel showing that i can do that for you um, um, the interaction menu is something that is hugely important but when I first started playing I didn't know about this and I didn't understand what people were talking about when I was looking for guides and things like that the interaction menu is is really where you do everything and it's a very quick 
accessible menu in the game and you hit that button um, to, to access it when you're um, it's different for each button but it tells you here for example on Xbox you're just going to click the view button and what happens is then you get a list of things and you can join uh, different menus which allow you to access either some of your businesses or even call in services and things like that um, you can also buy things in the interaction menu like ammo which is really important when you're in a job uh, you don't actually have to go around to an ammo store to to an ammunition store to buy that you can actually just top up your ammo there and you can also um, pick up snacks around the, the world and um, in, in GTA and uh, either in an office or in a store and that's how you replenish your health when you're in the middle of a job your health stocks up naturally organically just when you're walking around and doing stuff but when you're in the middle of a job and you're getting killed or whatever you need to to be able to access your armor and your snacks the armor you do need to go to the ammunition to purchase it so it's there's a if you do find yourself being attacked by lots of different people and find it overwhelming because being in a public lobby with lots of different players people aren't always very kind they will just hunt out players that are just doing nothing i always get killed all the time particularly at the moment when i'm running my kaiapurika heist in the middle of a setup and some guy will just fly past me and think oh i'll just kill that guy and just kill me and you can get into a cycle going after them and killing them and getting your kill back and that kind of thing i don't bother I simply just move on and they end up paying for the insurance on my car no no big deal but if you really want to just hang around in the city without doing anything uh, major you can just click passive mode and that allows you to to basically protect yourself from everybody else in the lobby but you can't obviously you can't attack them and you can't do anything like certain jobs and things like that but you can do certain jobs while you're in passive mode and that means that when you come out of the job and you're back in a public lobby surrounded by even the people that are in the job with you who are who may be random players you can actually still be in passive mode and you can do all of this in the interaction menu um your cars once you buy them are available you pay a service fee for your it's quite clever you pay a service fee for your mechanic you pay a service fee for every single business and every single service that you own in the game and that allows rockstar a way of firstly charging you some money so you, you see these these bills coming out of your um your rockstar account every every time you're playing the game but it does mean that it just helps to make it seem more realistic that actually you can call in a vehicle and it appears right there because you're actually paying for services you're paying for people to do that and that's why when you go back to your, business, your building with your car it suddenly looks brand new again when you, when you even if it's bashed up when you get there same with all your apartments and businesses they're always clean and ready to go because you're paying for services um you can you can actually use a new feature is you can actually return your vehicle now in in that menu as well and you can set uh, a spawn point so that when you do start the game and restart the game and load into the game you could be in a certain place and you can set it to random or one of your businesses or whatever so when i finish a session and i think what am i going to do next at the moment i'm just spawning all the time in my submarine but what am i going to do next what if i find i'm going to need to be in my nightclub because i've got to empty my nightclub i might set my spawn point for the nightclub and you do all of this in the interaction menu so the interaction menu is very important so heists everybody talks about heists and there are lots of these available some of these are massive and some of these are small and some of these involve lots and for example the doomsday heist involves lots and lots of setups it's very heavy very very difficult not great for new players you have to buy lots of things to get into it but simple heists like the the, the og heists uh, are available once you buy an apartment and there are four five different heists that you can run they don't pay as well as the casino heist or they don't pay as well as the kaiparika heist but they're a good way for a new player to rank up and practice and, and earn money um of course there's the diamond casino heist and you need to purchase so for each of these if you want to play the og heist you're going to have to buy an apartment if you want to play the doomsday heist you need to buy a facility if you want to play the casino heist you need to buy an arcade if you want to do the kaiparika heist you're going to need to um basically buy a submarine but the heists are a fantastic way, especially if you're into communities or if you've got a few people, even one or two friends that also play GTA, and you want to hang out together but also earn money and have to chat to each other in parties, great way to do it. Businesses, so money grinder, I mean I am a money grinder at heart and one of the first things I did is, is before I actually really got into all of the, the heists, um, 
I was already looking at different businesses and trying to figure out which one and I asked some very very experienced people what businesses are best to get into and they told me buy the MC business the clubhouse and then get one of the businesses and the cocaine is the most profitable and as I said the biker businesses are a big deal when it comes to starting out having these businesses and owning these businesses the counterfeit cash cocaine locker weed farm meth lab document forgery and and using these businesses effectively is a way of really ranking up and, and, uh, and accelerating the, uh, the money earning process in the game and I did this by buying all the businesses and then feeding them into my um, not just the empty business the import and export businesses as well and feeding them into my nightclub and when you get all of that done that is how you really rank up um, and special cargo I mean that's the CEO business where you're running around collecting crates and I said that's quite an intense way of doing things and earning money and it was the, actually the very first business that was created for the game and there are much much better ways of making money now which are the highest but this gives you the full lowdown of all these different businesses and how to use it so it's quite an in-depth guide air freight which is the the hangar nobody does this let me just tell you right now I wouldn't bother even if I have a hangar and I use it primarily to store my vehicles in, I don't bother doing air freight, even at double money. And if you ever try doing it, you'll see why. The, 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 it takes a long time to collect stock and get it ready to sell, and it doesn't pay you back much at all. Something I do work very hard on is my nightclub. Having a nightclub and upgrading it so that it is, you know, it's one part of it just you know, having a cool nightclub, DJs, that kind of thing. But actually, it's one of the best ways of passively earning money in the game. All of your businesses, the MC businesses and your import export businesses, they all feed into your nightclub. And when you're off doing something else, like well, I'm running my heist at the moment, my nightclub is earning a passive amount of money without me doing anything. None of my businesses are, are uh, being used. I'm not using my MC businesses at the moment. They're just all there. And as long as they're active, even if there's nothing in it, you don't even have to have stock. They still generate money in your nightclub, in the warehouse underneath it. So. I have, I think it's 1.6 million ready to sell in my nightclub right now, which is a full nightclub sale, and I can have nothing to earn that except set these businesses up like that. So twice, three times a week, I will go and empty my nightclub and earn, as I said, 1.6 each time for doing nothing. And it's a really easy way to sell as well, you do it all solo. So um, I've got lots of guides at this on my channel, so do check it out and, and you'll be able to see how to get, how to get that done. And then the bunker is another passive business. So create the bunker, and there's lots going on with the bunker. You can essentially um, do research within the bunker, which means you have staff that are creating certain special vehicles, certain liveries, and things like that. And it's a good way of sort of getting access to different things. But the main reason I use my bunker is essentially as another business to sell. It's a very easy business to stock up and sell and make, make good money from them. Each one of these businesses, when you buy them, they cost money, but again, you feed them into the, the nightclub. And let me just say, don't bother stealing your supplies. It may seem tempting because, well, it's free, right? But the amount of time you have to take to actually steal the supplies five times in a row to fill up your, your business and then sell it, the amount of money you make from it, it's not worth it. So buy your supplies and then it all happens automatically then you just go off and do something else and whilst your supplies that you bought are cooking I call it and getting ready for you to sell you can go and make money elsewhere so that's the best way to do it and that is it that's a big guide so I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope um, you get a chance to visit rockstargames.com and, and have a look at this um, um, there are lots of YouTubers out there like myself who will help new players and are willing to you know I've been, I've been making guides on my channel now um, for a long time to help players understand how to, to get from A to B in the game and, and best and the best thing to start and it's really encouraging and great to see Rockstar themselves putting a guide together that helps new players something that they can look at so um, let me know what you think about this thanks for listening to the video and please do visit my channel and subscribe so that you can stay in touch with me and not miss any of the other content I've got also content from Assassin's Creed Valhalla Cyberpunk 2077 it's a great channel with lots of really, really interesting content on it and I need support from people more now than ever so please do take a moment to visit my channel at Longfall Valerian Steel take care stay safe and I'll see you soon